Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, in this particular video, I will be discussing latest mathematical ability questions which are asked in Infosys System Engineer hiring. Okay. So as we all know that in December month, lot on in lot of campuses, the Infosys System Engineer hiring is going on. So I am trying to make this video so that you can get to know the different different sections which are involved and different different types of questions which are getting asked in those sections. Okay. So if you will go to my channel that is code bashers you will find that recently only i made the infosys system engineer latest verbal and english grammar questions latest pseudo codes okay so here in this video i will be discussing about the numerical ability questions so guys make sure that you're watching these videos till the end because lot of different questions i am discussing here and lot of questions can also repeat in your exam also so make sure to present be present on this channel because in future also i will continue to make the same videos so guys now let's start this video but before starting the video please hit that like button subscribe button and do join this telegram group this is a dedicated telegram group for 2025 batch students okay so guys now let's move ahead in this video okay so guys the first question is a person spends 40 percent of his salary on rent 20 percent on food and 10 percent on travel if he says to save 12,000, which is 30 percent of his salary but is his total salary so it means that 30% of x is equal to 12,000. Okay. Then in this case, x will be 12,000 into 100 divided by 30. Okay. So 3 is gross. This is 400. And 400 into uh, 100 is equal to 40,000. So this is its his salary. So 40,000 is the salary. It is the correct option. I hope this question is clear to you. Next is. In a classroom, 40% of students are boys and the remaining are girls. If the number of girls is 36, how many students are in total? So again, how many 60% of the girls are, 60% uh, of students are girls. So 60% of x is equal to 36. x is equal to 36 into 100 divided by 60. So this will go with 6, this will go with 10, this will go with 1, this will go with 10. So 60 are the total number of students which are present in this class. So yeah. This is the correct option. I hope it's clear. Next question is a clock is set right at 6 a.m. The hour end of the clock is 45 minutes ahead of the minute hand at 6 p.m. What is the time shown by the clock at 6 p.m.? So it is 45 minutes ahead. So correct answer is 7.15. Okay. Correct answer is 7.15 p.m. So if this is the clock, then 7.15 will look like this. Okay, this will look like 7.15. So this is the correct answer that 7.15 p.m. is the correct answer here because 45 minutes ahead of it. Okay, so I hope it's clear to you. Okay, now let's move towards the next question. A sum of rupees 1000 is invested at a compound interest of 2 years at a rate of 5% per annum. What will be the amount at the end of 2 years? So principal amount is 1000. 5% per annum and for 2 years compound interest. So after first year, 5% will be applied. So what will be the uh, current uh, after one year, what will be the amount? 1000 plus 5% of it. That is 1050. Okay. Then again on this 5% will again be applied. So then it will be how much it will be? It will be 52.5 will be the interest of that. So 1050 plus 52.5. So the correct answer will be double one zero two point five zero okay so the simple compound interest formula we will do principal plus interest then the new amount will become the principal and then again the same interest of five percent for the next year we will apply so correct answer will now become one one zero two point five after two years this will be the amount next question is a car travels 120 kilometers at a speed of 60 kilometer per hour how much time does it take to cover the distance so we have read the formula speed is equal to distance by time Okay, so uh, speed is given as 60, uh, distance is given as 120 and time is below. So T equal to 120 divided by 60 that is 2. So 2 hours is the correct answer. So answer is B. Yeah, 2 hours. I hope it's clear to you. Next question is a box contains 5 red balls, 8 green balls, 7 blue balls. If a ball is picked randomly from the box, what is the probability that the ball selected is green? So first of all, how many total balls are there? So 5 plus 8 plus 7, that is 20. So 20 will be in the denominator. And what is the probability that a ball set is green? So total 8 are the green balls. 
So 8 by 20 is the probability. Let's just uh, cut it and we'll do 2 by 5. So 2 by 5 is the correct answer here. So yeah, what is uh, this? Uh, five, uh, 8 by 20. Yeah, this 8 by 20 is the correct answer here. I hope this question is also clear too. It's a simple probability based question. Next is a man buys a shirt of Rs. 450 and sells it at a profit of 20%. What is the selling price of this shirt? So 450 is the cost price and profit is 20%. Okay, so plus 20% of 450. What is the current selling price? It will be like this. It will be 1. It will be 290. So 450 plus 90 is 540. So 540 is the correct answer here. You can see here. 540 is the correct answer here. I hope this question is also clear to you. And guys, if you are... Uh, Find this video informative till here. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel. Okay. And I have told you do join this CRM group. It is dedicated for 2025 batch students. All the discussions we are in different, different companies are happening here. Make sure to be present here and make sure to hit that like and subscribe button as I have already told you. Okay. So now let's continue with the video and move towards the next question. So in a classroom of, of 50 students, 28 students like mathematics. 25 students like physics and 18 students like both mathematics and physics. How many students like mathematics only? So this is a simple Venn diagram question. So, okay, this is a Venn diagram question. This is maths, this is physics and in between uh, this is maths and physics both. So 18 students like both maths, maths and physics. So 18 is here. 28 students like mathematics. 28 students like mathematics and 18 already are here. So what is the remaining amount? 10. Okay, and then 25 students like physics. So 25 minus 18 will be 7. Okay, then how many students like maths only? So answer is this 10. So this is the correct answer. Okay, so yeah, 10 is the correct answer. Sorry, here option is written as wrong. 10 is the correct answer. Here. Okay, I hope this question also clear to you. This is a normal Venn diagram question. Next question is a sum of rupees. Rs. 1500 is invested as simple interest of 3 years at a rate of 8% per annum. What is the total interest earned? It is a simple interest. So what is the formula for simple interest? P into R into T divided by 100. What is the principal amount? 1500. What is the rate of interest? Is 8. What is time period? Is 3 years divided by 100. So this, this cancelled 15 into 8 into 3. So 15 into 24, that will be 26, uh, I think 360. Yeah. So 360 is the new principal amount. Okay. 360 is the, uh, sorry, 360 is the interest earned. 360 is the interest earned in the three year period. I hope it's clear to you, this question also. Next question. Okay. This is a person can complete this work. Okay. So this is your homework. Try to read this question and try to answer this in the comment section. Okay. What will be the correct answer for it? Either it will be 12 days, 15 days, 20 days, 25 days. Just read the question and just write it in the description box. That what do you think is the correct answer for it? Let's move towards the next question. Okay. A number consists of two digits. Okay. A number consists of two digits. The sum of the digits is 15. And the number obtained by reversing the digits is 18. Less than the original number. What is the number? Now see, there is not no specific formula for solving this question. Okay. The easy way will be to just simply do, uh, simply take options one by one and try to fit these things. Okay, just simply do one by one and try to fit those things, fit these things. First, let's just pick up 69. This sum of the digits is 15. So 6 plus 9 is 15. So this first thing is again fine. Next is the number obtained by reversing the digits. Uh, uh, reverse of 69 is 96 and original number was 69. What is the difference? What is the difference here coming? Uh, it will be 27. It will be 27 is a difference. But here it says that difference should be 18. So 69 is not the number. We will use hit and try. Next is 57. So 57, 5 plus 7, the sum of digits is 15. This condition is correct. Now let's just reverse it. So reverse number is 75 and now it is 57. So we will subtract this is 18. So 18, 18 here also, 18 here also. So 57 is fulfilling this criteria, all the criteria. So therefore, the answer is coming out to be 57. They are not 87, 57. Okay. So I hope now this question is clear to you. Now guys, these were all the questions that I, I tried to discuss in this video. Okay. I have tried to ca uh, capture different, different patterns of the question. Okay. 
If you want more such videos, you can write in the comment section that yes, sir, we want more such videos regarding Infosys system engineer role. Okay. And you can also write in the comment section that when is your exam? Okay. In your college. Okay. So I hope all these things are clear to you. If you want more such videos for different, different companies also, you can write in the comment section that yes, sir, this company, this exam, this section, we want questions for, and I will be happy to make it. So I hope all these things are clear to you. These were all the questions discussed. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button if you like the video and make sure to join the Telegram group. The links you can find in the description box. Thank you for watching this video.